Hello, I'm Jovan Johnson. The Independent Commission of Investigations, Indicom, has launched a probe into allegations that Roshane Barnett, who is accused of killing a Clarendon mother and her four children, was assaulted while in police custody. And attorney at law Tamika Harris has been assigned to represent the 23-year-old man who is a relative of the victims. And at a vigil to honor the victims Wednesday evening, Member of Parliament for Clarendon North Central Robert Nesta Morgan questioned whether any human rights group attended the event. So I'm not saying human rights people are not important you know, because we have some really terrible things that happen in our society. But where is the balance? A 17-year-old Westmoreland boy was shot dead on Thursday morning. Jay Francis was discovered with multiple gunshot wounds in a yard along Ricketts Avenue in Savannah Lamar. The Supreme Court has dismissed an application from residents of Hope Pastures St. Andrew for the Jamaica Public Service Company, JPS, to cover the cost for the replacement of their underground electric power supply. The court ruled on Thursday that the JPS is not duty-bound to cover the cost for the replacement or to only provide supply by underground means. In sports, the hopes of Jamaica's young reggae boys to qualify for the 2023 Football World Cup were dashed Wednesday after they lost a qualifier 1-0 to the Dominican Republic. In your currency trading today, one US dollar was being sold for $151.56, the British pound sterling for $184.35, and the Canadian dollar for $118.76. In your weather forecast, Friday morning will be partly cloudy. In the afternoon, expect showers and isolated thunderstorms across western parishes and hilly areas. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. Remember to follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram, and like, comment and share on YouTube. I'm Joven Johnson.